Well, guess what guys? I finally got a real bike! That was like the worst intro ever. Just probably gonna delete that. Not really, because I can't come up with anything better. This guy's like, get a real bike! I think he flipped me off. <laughs> I don't know if that was a wave or a, f or a go fuck yourself. I'm not sure, but... I'll go fuck myself either way. Alright guys, so today I am riding a real bike. Now this is actually, um, this is kind of a temp bike. I'll tell you the backstory on this. Heather just graduated from uh, University of Florida, UF in Gainesville, Florida, and um, she just graduated and she bought this bike as a commuter bike while she was in uh, in college, right? She just graduated, so she's done with college. So we're about to sell this, and I'm just gonna take it out for a spin, kind of like a test ride, because I haven't rode a Ninja 250 in probably like six years. Um, I rode this one while she had it. I rode it to a, like a gas station one time and filled it up for her, that was it. Um, other than that, she's been riding it uh, back and forth to school. So, yeah, that's basically the backstory. And if you don't know already, the Heather, if you don't watch my channel, then you probably don't know this, but Heather has a Ninja 650 that she regularly rides on the weekends. And this was just bought as an extra commuter bike because if you've ever gone to a university, you know parking is a son of a bitch. So, yeah, so this is a, I believe it's a 2009 Ninja 250. Um, right after they changed the body style and uh, most people think that like it's a 250 so you know you can't ride it long distances and yada yada just to put that out there I've taken about five years ago I owned a CBR 250 uh, one of the newer ones it was like a 2012 or so it was like brand new when I bought it I think it was a 2012 and uh, I rode that bike from Tampa Florida all the way to Fort Bragg or um, Fayetteville, North Carolina. So a little over 600 miles. Um, <laughs> that guy's probably like, what a noob on a 250. <laughs> um, but anyways, so I rode that bike uh, around about 1500 mile round trip uh, in like four days. So it definitely can be done. It was a pain in the ass you know, riding a bike this size on the highway for a long distance. I would say anything over like three to four hours on the highway on this bike can get very uncomfortable because it's very lightweight and the wind can blow you around pretty easily on the highway. And it's like the top speed I think on this bike is right around, right over 100 miles an hour. I, don't quote me on this, but I want to say it's like 105, so like that. And um, so when you're on the highway and you're doing 80, 85, and you don't have much passing power at that point. It's not like on a, say a 600 or a 1000, um, where you can just, you know, you're cruising in fourth, fifth, sixth gear and you can just drop a gear and whoa, right around cars. It's not that easy on a small bike. So that's one thing to uh, consider if you're doing a lot of highway commuting on a small bike. Uh, like I said, anything over a few hours is going to be a pain in the butt. But most people um, just assume that a 250 is nothing but a starter bike. Like, this is the bike you should start on. And I don't necessarily believe that because I started on a 550 myself. It was an LTD 550. A uh, very old bike, but um, it was not a 250. And it had, you know, a good amount of power. Oh, that was a cop for a second. No, like, not that I'm speeding, obviously, but um, yeah, it was a uh, fun bike. Uh, but I don't believe that a 250 is the best starter bike. I think they have their purpose, like for commuter bikes, or like if you're buying a bike to save money on gas, a small bike is the way to go. Because I want to say this bike probably is well over 50 miles per gallon, easily. Probably gets like 60. 70. I want to say my um, my CBR 250 got like 70 miles per gallon 
Although that was fuel injected, this is a carbureted bike, so a little bit different. I think I'm gonna let this guy go. No, I'm gonna go. All right, so we're gonna take it down some corners real quick. You wind this thing out real quick. And it will not wheelie in second gear. <laughs> Just kidding. It probably will, if you know what you're doing and you're not a noob like me. All right, so I, I think I'm in fourth gear right now. So obviously you wanna warm up your tires before you do stuff like this. But I just took it down to the gas station, filled it up, and I'm just cruising around on it to, um, you know, just kind of get a feel for something different. I, I ride my bike, and I've had my bike well over a year now, and I love my bike to death, but it is always fun to hop on a different bike and cruise on it, whether it's a bigger bike or a smaller bike. And like I said, 250s can be a lot of fun. And 250s are a lot more forgiving, like in certain situations. Um, and like I said, if you're if you're like not a very um, you know, if you're not a very thoughtful person as far as like thinking about the possibilities of wrecking and whatnot, <laughs> why is it that I always see big bikes when I'm riding a little bike? <laughs> um, so like I said, 250s have their place, and they have there's a, lo a lot of uh, fun to be had on them. And I'm nowhere skilled enough to push this thing even to its maximum limit. Um, you have to be, I mean like if, once you start talking about like 600s, 750s, 1000s, you have to be a very, very, very skilled rider to push that type of bike to its maximum limit. Like I've been riding like well over 10 years now and I couldn't even push this bike to its maximum limit on a track. Um, it's just... I, I'm not that skilled of a rider to believe that I'm capable of that. Um, I believe that I am capable. I'm a capable rider, and um, but still, like this bike has a lot of potential on the track. Like if you watch a, like maybe say an amateur racer on the track and he rides a 250, he will probably keep up with 600s if he's if you're comparing like the average street rider on a track on a 600 or a 750 1000 look at all the deer ah oh, right in the middle of the day oh that's funny um so if you're trying to compare like an average street rider um on a 600 versus a skilled professional rider on a 250 the 250 professional rider will probably annihilate someone who's a noob like me on a 600 on the track and i'm well capable of admitting that like i'm pretty comfortable with my riding um but 250s can be a lot of fun and they're um they have their place like i say they're just a fun little bike to cruise around on and if I didn't believe that, I probably wouldn't even be riding it right now. I would probably just say, you know what, sell the freaking thing and I don't ever want to see it again. <laughs> but they have their place. And if you're watching this and you do ride a 250 or you came from riding a 250, you can probably appreciate what I'm saying as far as they take a little bit more finesse and skill to push than a super sports 600 or above um that's actually heather right in front of me right now this is why she's not riding with me right now she's actually going to ride her horse so <laughs> that's funny we ended up on the same road uh, she's going to her trainers right now so big congratulations to heather on graduating college so big accomplishment um and this is the farewell ride to the 250.